is Jordan Peterson. Many of you will be familiar with him. I quite like him. I've got to confess, if you're not familiar with him, you're thinking who she's talking about is the Canadian uh, psychologist. High, very high profile in this country, I have to say. Anyway, he's been speaking out. He did an um, interview with The Telegraph, and he's basically saying if we elect Keir Starmer in the next election, Britain, basically, uh, will be on track to be Venezuela for the next 20 years. You know a thing or two um, about the Labour Party. In fact, uh, you've got a book coming out imminently about the Labour Party. What do you think to this uh, suggestion? I thought these comments were absurd. And, uh, I mean, if you look at Keir Starmer, Keir Starmer is trying to approximate as close as he can the playbook of the new Labour years and Tony Blair. He won't even touch policies that Ed Miliband was willing to entertain, like a, a mansion tax. His thoughts on the top rate of tax is not to even restore it to what it was under Gordon Brown or to explore reintroducing a banker's bonus tax. The idea that Keir Starmer is some kind of far-left uh, leader is for the birds. He's uh, a, a pretty moderate social democrat at best, and he's imposing on his shadow cabinet very strict spending rules through his shadow chancellor, Rachel Reeves. Uh, and so this is not going to be a particularly economically radical government. And I think that this, whatever Jordan Peterson might know about, about psychology, I think it shows he doesn't know a great deal about British politics. Ooh, harsh, harsh. <laughs> Do you agree with him, Ben? Well, I, I, I don't, I'm afraid. I think Richard is an incredibly um, cerebral and well-articulated young man, but I think you're completely wrong about Keir Starmer, because Keir Starmer is... Uh, he, he has no yardsticks by which he is um, but ideologically driven. Keir Starmer is reacting, just like Rishi Sunak, to every 24-hour news cycle in order to try and promote his own popularity. And I would say the only criticism I've got of Jordan Peterson is that he thinks that we need a Labour Party in order for the country to become like Venezuela. Actually, the Tories have done unbelievable damage in the last 13 years. Look at the symptoms of socialism. What are they? They are very large state borrowing. We've got that. Very high taxes. We've got that post-World War II high. Inflation out of control, where we kind of had that. An economy that isn't growing. Our economy isn't growing. On a GDP per capita basis, it's actually shrinking. Uh, a nation state in turmoil, public sector not working, the labour market's broken, six million people unemployed on benefits. What we've had since Tony Blair took office is 25 years of progressive socialism, hollowing out the nation state, not making policies for British national interest, not promoting aspiration over dependency, and, and instead going for wealth redistribution over wealth creation. We've had 25 years of it. And most of government spending has been sustained through borrowing. So now, for example, we spend twice as much on serving our government's interest bill mm. than we do on our military defence spending. This country is careering into an existential um, uh, existential threat which is going to uh, result in the end, as Suella Braverman put it, of the United Kingdom. We're already heading in that direction. We need a significant change in economic, social, uh, cultural policy from the government if we are to save the United Kingdom. And there's only one party that can deliver that, and that is Reform UK. Oh, he gets it in there, his <laughs> plug. Go on, Richard. Very good. Uh, look, the, the, the reality is that what we have had since, actually, even before the 90s, I'd say going back since the 70s, is a series of governments that aren't willing to take industrial strategy seriously. And actually, one of the benefits of leaving the European Union is that the tools of making industrial strategy now rest with the British government. And my encouragement to Keir Starmer would be to be bolder on those issues. And what that means really is for Keir Starmer to think about how to use public procurement in a way that pr uh, promotes economic growth in different parts of the country, perhaps providing uh, tax incentives for businesses to expand or invest in, say, you know, the, the Wirral or Doncaster rather than 
clumping in the southeast. If you get that kind of industrial strategy correct, you will not only help to resolve some of the cost of living and living standards crisis that we face in this country, but also the housing crisis. Because part of the problem we have is that the southeast's housing crisis is the flip side of the rest of the country's jobs crisis. And if you get good, stable and attractive employment outside of the southeast, then that will help to rebalance the economy. But you need an, you need an active government to do that.